Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Naima Atador. I am a stay at home mom and blessed with three amazing boys ages 4, 3, and 1. Today's clean with me is cleaning my room. I'm going to be cleaning my messy bedroom that I have been putting off for way too long and the clothes has been piling up so I will be washing everything including the pillows giving you a lot of laundry motivation. If you are here for the first time or have not yet subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to my channel I would love to have you and if you already subscribed to my channel thank you so very much for coming back for another cleaning motivational video so get ready to clean with me or if you simply just love watching satisfying cleaning videos I hope you enjoy now let's get started I want to get started with taking everything off the bed and getting the pillows and also the sheets washed Meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the hygiene. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Okay guys, so I have been putting off cleaning my bedroom for way too long. It is, yes, you, you see it, right? It's messy, clothes everywhere. Things have been piling up and honestly, it, it's been treated like a dump and go. So today is the day that we get this organized, put everything away, wash everything most importantly, and get it nice and squeaky clean. We just building It's my season A foundation Make a name for Generations Please and make a And take a break Or a little vacation And chasing blues away You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning Or look like you always be working Soaking the moments you live in Yeah, You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life now this process I like to do because when it comes to folding, it's so much quicker, faster and easier for me because I have a love-hate relationship when it comes to folding and this method works. Now, I like to have all the clothes right side out. I think I'm saying it right, I'm not sure, but instead of inside out, I flip it the other way around. So that way when it comes to folding, I just fold or put uh, what I need in a hanger. Now the more clothes you have, the longer it takes but I promise you, at the end, it's worth it. So that's what I'm basically doing now with every piece of item that you see on the floor that are dirty and about to wash everything. Green and pure and free. Hey, I worry about what's the wave only worry about me, yeah. Now prior to this, when it comes to the clothes, I was doing so good with basically washing like once or twice a week and the clothes were just not piling up at all but life happens and then you start piling up as life happens but it's okay the most important thing is that we're getting it done right so if you also have some laundry to do let's do this together For the pillows, I like to wash them with bleach in a longer cycle twice a year. And in between, I just do shorter cycles with no bleach. Or also it depends on if they're dirty or not as well. Now the reason why I bleach them only twice a year is later on when I start put putting everything back together, um, then you'll see why. I like to put a, um, a protector, a pillowcase protector, there you go, before putting the actual pillowcase. 
first, which helped protect the pillows a lot longer. Someone had asked in my previous video, why are you putting two pillowcases on all pillows? It's not actually pill two pillowcases. One of them is a protector, which um, has a zipper, and the other one is the actual pillowcase. Again, I like to put that so that way it protects the pillow a lot longer, so that way I don't have to constantly keep washing them throughout the year. Now the times that I was cleaning my messy bedroom, I was blessed enough to have my sister over which allowed me to actually clean my messy bedroom with little to no interruptions. I have three kids guys, three small kids, so it can be a lot of interruptions. The good thing about editing is that I get to cut all that out. So while I was outside with the kids playing because they wanted to play, um, they have like chalk which we like to draw on the ground with. But while we was doing that, I had asked her if she can take the dry ones out of the dryer and the one in the wash to put it in the dryer for me. So by the time I'm done playing with the kids, they would be dry. <laughs> I do have quite a bit of loads to do so we are going to be doing that so this video is not just about cleaning my room guys it's a lot of laundry motivation that I'm giving you because I do have a lot of clothes that needs to get clean so if you think of it this way I have cleaning motivation I'm giving you decluttering organizing lots of laundry motivation with that said what other videos would you guys like to see in my channel because I have been recording I just need to edit faster <laughs> and speaking of editing honestly guys I'm not the fastest when it comes to editing at all like I can record all day but the editing takes so so long if you do YouTube then you know exactly what I mean unless if you have someone that do it for you then oh my gosh what a lifesaver because editing can take hours and then if you're a busy mom like me oh it can take days and the reason why it can take days because you have to edit stop edit stop so yes, it can definitely take a while. Oh, oh my baby, one of my kids are up. Yes, baby. Daddy. Oh, daddy's not here, honey. on doing a major major decluttering throughout the entire house and I would like to know like which organizations should I donate to when I did my massive decluttering um, you guys had mixed feelings about certain organizations um, not to donate to so I would like to know this time around which ones are good to donate to so please if you do know or have any kind of idea let me know in the comments below because I'm reading it all because once I do my major decluttering I am going to donate everything at one point I thought about doing a yard sale and I was like that's that's time consuming and the weather right now it's been like raining on and off and I was like oh I don't want to do it and then next thing you know it's pouring and then the stuff are outside it was just like a back and forth thing but yeah I just rather just put them in the box and donate them although a yard sale would be fun I've never had one before and I don't know there's a part of me that would love to have a yard sale growing up as a kid I love tagging along with my mom going to yard sales and finding unique pieces for like 50 cents 
but I am just leaning towards just donating them. But you can't remember, remember me. Gone away and gone for good. I did everything I should. But you can't remember, remember me. Every little thing that was said. It doesn't matter now when I leave. And our song is playing, I'm playing on. Every little thing that was said. It doesn't matter now when I leave. And our song is playing, I'm playing on. The kids still sleep in the same room with us and I'm not sure when the day will come of them being in their own room but I know it is not anytime soon. We have no problem with it and the kids are way too young to even understand what having their own room is. I said that because the age that they are they don't care sharing room with mom and dad but of course as they get a little older they definitely not gonna want to be in the room with mom and dad and so mom and dad is definitely not going to want them in the room either. But for right now, it works for everybody. So In one of my videos, someone commented um, in the comment section asking me if the father of the kids and I are no longer together. Because in the video, I had said I'm doing this whole mommy thing all by myself, which I was. Because the kid's father, he was away for work and I was pretty much by myself for like half a year doing this whole mommy thing by myself. And here and there, I would have um, family members, my family members, come and help me which was just a blessing because there were times there were days guys i felt like um what do we call it pulling teeth or pulling hair i don't know i just felt stressed exhausted and just everything in between it was a lot and my son started school it was mm, it was a lot that explained the reason why the car <laughs> just was trashed <laughs> because it just by the time I get home, I just I just wanted to just go straight inside the house and not worry about cleaning the car. It was, let's just say it was a lot, okay? <laughs> and with that said, he and I, we are still together. He was just away for work, that's all. Now we are moving on to the dresser. On top of the dresser just has way too much stuff on it. So I will be clearing it out, putting everything away, getting it nice and clean. And also I will be cleaning my perfume area. Now for someone who do not wear a lot of makeup or 
I don't know if you consider doing your eyebrows and lipstick makeup, but I guess for me, like, if you're not doing a full face, then it's kind of like, I don't know. But for someone who doesn't really wear makeup like that, I have way too many makeup brushes. And I have them, and I have a lot of makeup. That is because prior to me doing YouTube, I was so into watching um, beauty channels, and that inspired me to get some myself and start teaching myself how to do it and watching the videos where it's like um kind of like a blueprint of what to do of course watching the videos you're not going to do exactly what they do because everybody have a different face and everybody like things differently and me personally i i don't like to wear like a, a lot of heavy makeup especially when it comes to foundation now i love me some lipstick I would wear that all day every day but I don't want like a lot of heavy foundation but um yeah I would watch their videos to try to get ideas of like you know of the steps like which steps to do next but in all honesty I got the product I purchased what I needed to buy but never continued like I never actually like done it so all I would do is like do my eyebrows because I have none and wear a bold lipstick but yeah 99% of my videos that you guys see I, I have no foundation on it's just my bare face but like I said I would do my eyebrows because I have little eyebrows like I have nothing in my eyebrows and I would definitely wear a nice lipstick even though that's part of me that still wanna you know still want to learn how to do it I keep telling myself one day you have to teach yourself how to do your makeup I think that's probably the reason why I don't really do it because like I don't know where to start all these videos and still I don't know where to start I think that's probably the main thing that's holding me back is like what to do I, I just don't know but hopefully one day I can build up the confidence to teach myself so that way I can um start wearing it and be more girly you know I'm not really like a girly girl but I am but not really if that makes sense as for the dresser there is a couple of things that's on the dresser i cannot move um the radio being one i can move the radio but it's very hard um <clears throat> excuse me the cord is short so moving the radio is a hassle guys and also my makeup organizer it is bolted to the cement wall and because we have little ones it is to prevent it from falling topping over the kids so it just makes me feel much better knowing that it's not gonna fall on them so because of those two I just pretty much have to clean around it And regarding the car, if you follow me, on <laughs> another one is up. Now you hear why editing takes me a long time because, like I mentioned, I always have to stop. Okay, up. Okay, okay. Now regarding the whole car situation, if you follow me on Instagram, then you definitely got a lot of behind the scene of how, just how, how it got like that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. And if you don't already know, I think I explained this a little bit, but um, just to give you a quick snippet of it, like by the time I drop my son off to school, I'm pretty much in the car um, until I pick him up from school. 
So yes, I spend half my day just in the car because the commute is a, it's very long. Like who thought to just pick a school that's like extremely far away, <laughs> but it's a very good school, so I'm not complaining. But um, it makes no sense for me to drive all the way back and by the time I get here, I will have like 20 to 30 minutes to myself to do whatever and then I have to drive all the way back. So I basically was putting gas in the car like every two days. So the drive was super long, so I had to find a park in the area because my other kids are with me. I had to get to know the area and we would go to the park, you know, like go out for lunch in the area and and if I had any errands to run, I would do it in the area. And then I would have to basically go back to his school to get in the car ride line because he is a car rider and be in the line for like an hour and a half. Yeah, it's like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, then you got the backstory of everything. So by the time I get home, the last thing I want to do is do anything in that car. I want to get out of the car. So yes, it did accumulate for sure. I personally think the people who follow me on Instagram see another side of me and also a lot of the comments, a lot of the questions that's in the comments, I think me being on Snick, like if you follow me on Instagram, you pretty much get them answered. It just show a whole different side of just me cleaning toilets. <laughs> There's more to me than just wiping the counter. So again, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so and get to know more. Oh, This is just what has happened But I still can't deny me asking Was it me? Could I have handled it different? I rewind, but I know I did fine No more spark It's just cold and dark Burning out like stars shining in the sky No more spark But a solid mark That our time is wrong I don't know about you but I like a lot of pillows on the bed and I love it when it's nice and fluffy just feels so good when you lay down Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. 
If you have some cleaning to do, I hope this gave you a lot of cleaning motivation. Or if you just simply watch cleaning videos, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And don't forget, if you're not a subscriber yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you everyone for watching, especially if you have made it to the end because it does help my channel. And if you like this video or any of my cleaning videos, please give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Until next time, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,